Scott here from Cortex. Today we're going to learn how to set up an NVR from the beginning. First it's going to show us if our monitor supports a certain resolution. You can change it to that resolution by hitting OK. I'm not going to so I'm going to hit cancel. Next I'm going to have to set up a password. It is a secure password so you have to use an uppercase letter lowercase and numbers I'm going to set my password I need to confirm that password you can if you want turn on the unlock pattern I'm not going to but if you wanted to you could what it does is give you a pattern that you can put in instead of a password. Once you've created the password, it'll bring you to the recover password section where you're going to set up some answers to some secret questions. This can be anything in here. It doesn't matter what you put. You can put the actual answer if you want. I'm just going to put in something generic here. and you have to answer all three questions. Once you've answered all three questions, put a check mark in super code I know it says not recommended, but this is so if you get locked out, forget your questions, we can generate a password for you. Hit OK. Log in. Brings us to the start wizard. We're going to run the start wizard. First, it sets us to our network uh, information. If you need to put in a static IP address, uncheck mark DHCP. Put in the IP address and the information that you need. I'm going to leave mine on DHCP. Hit next. Brings us to our date and time. So we can set it. The fastest way to do this is turn on NTP. We have daylight savings time here. Hit update now. Update it through the internet. We can go back. Change this to 12 hour. It's minus five here. And it's the 20th. Double check, make sure everything is correct. Hit next. This is where it would show if we have any cameras connected to the back of the NVR, which I do not at this time. They would show up here. Hit next. This is the hard drive that I have installed. For the first time when a hard drive is put in, you have to format it. So we're going to format, it's going to ask us for our password, put in our password, hit authenticate, format the entire hard disk, all data will be erased is the option that you want, hit OK. It takes a couple of minutes for it to format, so we'll sit here. Okay, it's done formatting. Hit OK. Hit Next. We can set our output resolution. I've got mine set to 1080p. We're going to leave that there. Hit Next. This is for our QR code for the app, Cortex IQ. You can scan the QR code here if you would like. It gives us the P2P ID. 
which is also what the QR code is. This is used if you want to input it manually into the app or if you want to put it into the VMS Pro software that you can download from cctvcore.com. It gives us our IP address and the ports that we're using. Hit next. This is our information for our full setup gives us a resolution, date and time, network information, and we can turn the wizard off by don't show this window next time. Hit finish, and that's it. Have a great day.